Hi everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week. Stay tuned to see what I chose for the toes for the last spring look. Welcome back to Toe of the Week. Excited to share another toe design with you, my last spring look, and more of my shoe collection. But let's look at these beautiful black, red, and white toes. Aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I just love red toes. I really do. You know, I like red on the fingers too, but I just love red toes. I think they're just sexy in a kind of a way, but just beautiful, always looks great with everything. And I love black, red, and white. I love the way it turned out. I did it to match that set of nails I did on Monday with the stamping plates and the crystals and everything. I really do love it. And I can't wait for you guys to see the Fashion Friday's outfit of the day for the last spring look of the year. Then we're going into the summer looks. But let me go ahead and read my prayers and promises to you guys. And this one is on grace. I love this one. I read it prior to coming on. From his fullness, we have all received grace upon grace. John 1, 16. And that is true. Uh, James 4, 6. God gives us even more grace as the scriptures say. God is against the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Make sure you humble yourself, everybody. And that's what I always tell you. Don't give me the grace. Don't give me the glory for what I teach you guys. Give it to him. He'll give it to me. He's already, you know, offered me a kingdom. So I don't need nothing else. I want to continue, you know, continue to keep myself humble and you too. Make sure you do. God loves that. And uh, the last one is Romans 6.14. Remember this, sin will not conquer you, for God has, I mean, for God already has. You are not governed by law, but governed by the reign of the grace of God. Because he sent his son, we are covered. We are covered with our sin, you know. As long as we are walking with God and trusting God and living that Christian life and believing that Jesus died on the cross for us, we have a kingdom. On the other side, it says, having been removed from the bondage of the law by your grace. I love that, that bondage. We're removed from it. Our chains are broken. We're removed from our sin. Removed and know that we have a place in heaven. And it says, I can now obey your commandments from a heart of love and gratitude rather than a joyless obligation of a servant. I like that right there. Your grace is my freedom in, humi um, in humility um, I will accept your grace and follow you every day of my life. And I will. I will continue to follow God every day of my life. I will. He makes me feel so good. I will enjoy your friendship, learn from your teachings, extend grace to others, and one day enter your kingdom. All these things I can do because by your grace, I am your child and not merely a servant. Wow. I love this one on grace. And it says, what does grace what does God's grace look like in your life? I'll tell you what, God has done so much for me. I just feel alive again. Like I said in my um, sermon video, I see clear. I, you know, I'm not a walking dead person. God has fulfilled my life. I feel so much grace in my life. I feel complete. I don't worry anymore because I know that I'm going to heaven when I leave. Sure, I'm human and we're still going to worry about things and God understands that. But real quickly, you know, I ask God to take on my anxieties and my fears and he does. He has been absolutely wonderful in my life and he will do that for each and every one of you that's what he wants because remember for God so loved the world John 3 16 that's why he sent his son for God so loved the whole world I love that I always put that in parentheses because I love that he is just the most amazing person in my life and Jesus is my very best friend always here in my heart and always here in my life start your day go through your day and end your day with God read scripture write it down spend time alone with him spread the good word to as many people as you can it's our job as Christians if we don't we're not doing our job then we're supposed to be almost like his disciples and like my pastor's uh, son said last night um, even more right now with things that are going on we need to ask him to help clean up our world we need that as Christians it's more on us 
to be asking for that. So ask for him to clean up our world and he will and continue to walk that good life. And if you've slipped and fell and you were a Christian, get back to God. Um, if you're not a Christian and need, you know, want that eternal life, ask Jesus into your heart. Uh, read those scriptures that I taught in one of my sermons. I can, you know, say it again to you guys. Um, but just make sure that God is the most important. You start your day, you go through your day and you end your day with Christ. Always praying for all his people and everything. That's Ephesians uh, 6, 10 through 18. At the bottom it talks about praying, but that is the armor of God. Put on the full armor of God daily and when things become too tough ask him to take the wheel and to take on all your anxieties and fears and he will we're going to get through this this too shall pass so that being said yes I am a huge Christian a huge love of God and I will continue to walk with him I'll make mistakes but I'm learning and growing every day and I ask for more faith more grace more you know help to humble me more and all of that and every day I feel better and better so, but anyways, this toe design, loving it so much, and I can't wait after the uh, very end when you see the outtake of the toe design, after you see how I did it, then I'll, do, do, I'll be doing three more pairs of my shoe collection, and the third pair, always as always, will match with what I did for this coming up Fashion Friday. So, everybody, if you are new to my channel, whoever is new to my channel, right there is the red subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell underneath that. You'll be notified of all of my new uploads. Share around my channel, please, for me so I can grow bigger and bigger on my channel. Help many people with the ketogenic diet, with, uh, you know, their faith and walk with God, and also share all the other stuff on my channel that I do. And if you loved this a beautiful red toe design that I did, red, black, and white, shoot me a thumbs up. And let's just shoot me a thumbs up because you love God at the same time. I love all of you, but God loves you more. Everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Hey, everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for my last spring toe design, matching the nails I did on Monday. A red, black, and white design, and I did it with the stamping plate and crystals. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Toe of the Week. Getting ready to do my last spring design of the year, and I did that set of nails on Monday with those beautiful stamping plates, the roses. Black, red, and white is the design I went with for the last look. Wanted to go out with a bang. It's my favorite combination, red, black, and white. I uh, don't know how much that is spring-like, but with the flowers and the stones and, of course, the outfit. When you see the outfit, it's very spring-like. So, yeah, I wanted to do a red, black, and white look, so we're going to match this up with the nails that I did on Monday. If you didn't get a chance to see that, definitely check them out. Um, we're doing everything stamping this time, so it's an easy design. Uh, I was a little bit busy this week, but I also like to work with the stamping plates. So, as you see, I've got the toes done all in a beautiful red, and it's this one here from Dollar Tree, and it's called Attitude. Definitely got attitude with this one. I love red. I love red toes. I just love red. My favorite color is blue, but I really love red toes. I don't know. There's just something about red on the toes. So I got them all done up. Then I'm going to be working with white and black from the Kiss brand of the polish to do the stamping. And I'll be doing a white rose and a black rose and then this black design that I did on the finger there. I'll be doing that on the big toe. So the whole design is going to look like the thumb like that but on the thumb the only difference is i'm going to do one black rose and one white rose i believe or i may stick with just that black in the middle i'm not sure so i will need the black though and what i'm using the for the plates is by this company that i got from wish and it came with a whole bunch of different stamping plates and the one i'm going with i'll mark it down in the box it's all the same supplies from monday but just in case you didn't get to see it so it's a collection uh three and four Oops, turn this around. Three and four is the ones I'm working with there. And I'm working with this image right here for the middle. That's like in the finger there. And it's going to go down the toe like that. And then I'm going to put a clear crystal in the middle there. I'll show you that. And then I'm going to be using that rose image right there. And I'll either do two white roses and keep the black in the middle or one black rose and one white rose. I think I will do it just like the thumb. I think we're going to keep it just like that. Okay, and then for the stamp or the scraper, it is from the company there. I'm going to use that scraper. And for the stamper, I'm using the Born Pretty Clear Jelly Stamper. It's a larger one. Also got that from Wish. And then um, for the stones, I'm going to be using these. They are 10SS, uh, just clear crystals. And then I'm going to use my crystal wheel using the black, and, or the, let's see over here, the black 
I think this was black. Yep, the black and the red. And on camera here, like I showed you guys, it almost looks like the stones are orange, but they're not when you see in the photo. They are red. It's just the way the light's shining on it. So we're going to do red and black stones around it. And I might put some stones on the baby toes, but I think I'm going to leave the baby toes just red, maybe adding a few stones to it. And the Wheel of Color, both of those um, stones are from Hobby Lobby, the Wheel, and the other ones. One is 10 SS for the clear, and the other one is 6 SS. And then I'm going to use ASP glue to glue it down. I get that from Sally's. I'll use an orange wood stick and a Q-tip to pick up the larger stones. And then once I am all done, I'm going to top everything off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. This will be a pretty fast design, um, just a quick one, but that's good because sometimes we need our designs done quicker so we don't have to take all day long to do these. So I'm going to get working on the first design on the big toe and probably some of the crystals um, on the smaller toes, but we'll just go as we go along. So let me get one done and I'll return. Okay, so we've got the first one done with that black image in the middle and then the white roses. And white roses are my all-time favorite rose. I love the white rose. I love the purity of it. So let's go ahead and show you how we're doing this. We'll draw in and we'll get everything set up here. We're going to start with that image first, the black image that's right there. So we're going to go ahead and paint the black on like that. And then scrape it, get our stamper, and pick it up. Now you got a little bit of stuff to the side there, so we're going to use the scraper to get that off. And then we're going to go ahead and put this right on the tone. We're going to try to line this up right to the center, and then you guys will see as I put it on. So go like that, and then just roll it so it goes on. There you go. Now let's go ahead and go on to the white roses. We'll first clean our plate, though. Clean off the paint, and then we'll grab the other one here and make sure that gets in there for you so you see that, the rose there, this one right there. And we're going to be using the white paint for that, so we'll paint on the white there, and we're going to need two of these. Go ahead and scrape it. We'll start with the first one, pick up the image. You got the rose perfectly right there, but then take off any excess around it. And then we'll start by putting the one rose up in this corner here to this side, since the other one went the other way. So we'll put it right, kind of overlapping the black just a little bit. You have to with the toe. So there's the one. And then we're going to go ahead and clean the plate. Whoops. Clean the plate here and get ready to do another one. Get the white paint. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. Get the white paint there. And then clean off my glove here. Okay, and then scrape it again. One more scrape. Pick it up. And then just get rid of what is excess there with your scraper. And then again, I'll put my foot up here. And we're going to do this one down to this side now. And just put it down in the corner. You'll see as I go to stamp it like that. Hopefully you're seeing that. Yep, you're seeing it. Okay. Isn't that cute? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I just think the idea is so pretty. Oh, let's clean off the plate before we get rid of it. Okay, and we'll put those aside. Clean the scraper as well, so that's nice and clean. Since it gets, you know, used and the paint gets on it and stuff, you want to keep your stampers and your uh, plates clean and your, of course, your, um, uh, the stamper, the scraper, and the plates. And the this, you can just use a lint roller. That's what I'm using here is a lint roller. Just clean it up like that. So we're done with these three things. We won't need those. So let me go ahead and just set them aside here and get my feet back up into the photo. Or the video, I should say. And then we'll get rid of this. We won't need this uh, paper towel anymore so we don't get any paint on our toes. So, all right, so there you go. There's that step. Now we're going to go on to the crystals. We're putting crystals in the big toe for sure, and I think I'm going to do uh, crystals in the in the red, but I think I'm just going to do black crystals in them. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me get some of those done, and I'll return. Okay, so I've got one whole side completed. There's the big toe with the red and the black crystals and the clear in the middle, and then I did black stones going down the baby ones. So we're going to go ahead, and I've got them laid out, and we're just going to show you how we're doing this. 
I got all the colors laid out and I got some glue on a cap here. So I'm just gonna set that up in the corner here. I'm gonna dip in and get a dot of glue right there. And then I'm gonna dot a little bit of glue there for the stones, just three dots. And we're gonna do it up by this white rose as well on the top one. So we have the glue to put down the stones. Hopefully I got enough here. All right, first thing we're gonna do is pick up the clear crystal with a Q-tip, because that one's a little bigger. So we wanna make sure that we can pick it up and put that right into the center and then use your orange wood stick after you've wiped it off first so there's no glue residue and give it a push down into the glue right in the center there. All right, then we'll go to the red stones and that you can just use your orange wood stick to pick those up and we're gonna do one two and then a black one right in the center and then same thing at the top again it's so funny how these stones look like they are orange but they are not you guys would have seen if you've seen my nail video uh, when I took photos you could see it was red they just look for some reason orange, the way the camera does it, they look like they're orange. And I would never do orange, it wouldn't look right. Okay, and then the black in there. All right, make sure it's pushed down. And then just get a little dot of glue down by the cuticle area on your baby toes, on every one there. Just get them prepared and ready. Get my little one in there too, so you guys see that. And then we're just gonna go right to the black stones and put them on. I think this one's turned, yeah. Okay, so there's one. That's not the color black. One I was picking up was not black. <clears throat> I think I need a few more black stones here. I'll lay it out, hang on. Okay, I'll just grab them right out of the tin here. We got one there, whoops. One, two, kind of straighten them out a little bit. They do glue down sometimes pretty fast. Then we'll get one more. Make sure it's turned the right way. This one was not. So I need to turn it around and then just set it down into the glue there. I just thought that would be pretty. I don't always like to do too much to the baby toes. Sometimes I'll do an accent nail. Um, but I just like to keep this set here red because I really like the red. So there you go. That is the look there. I am now going to top everything off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat to dry everything up. And then I will return to show all of you guys the end product. Just remember when you go over stones, use a liberal, a liberal amount of top coat. It dries very fast but just make sure you pull out all the air pockets and everything, so kind of glide over it as you're doing it. And be careful when you do stamping, you wanna glide your um, you know, your top coat over it, glide it so it doesn't ruin your design. It's dry, but just be careful, just glide over and then go over the stones and make sure you, you know, don't have any air pockets or nothing and then cap the ends. So I'm gonna do that and I will come back to show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done and aren't these just lovely? I love them so much. I'll back up a little bit so you can see it. Aren't they gorgeous? I love red toes. I think red toes are so beautiful no matter what time of the year. But these are the last set of my spring nails and then I'll be going into the summer looks. I'm excited that I went with red, black, and white. It is my favorite combo for doing nails. I love blue. Blue is my favorite, but I love the combo of red, black, and white together. And remember, after this video here, I'll be showing you three more of my shoe collection. The last one will be what I'm wearing in this Fashion Friday to match this set, and then you'll see the photos after. Everybody take care, God bless, and I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.